that we're currently, the monthly fee for AT&T is about, about $1,600. Oh, right. uh, one more than that month. And then we also have charter, which is almost $300. Yeah, so the point I want to add right there is you're probably only getting maybe 60 megs or less. I, I don't know what the bandwidth is, but this is 200 megs, true commercial grade. So there would be a monthly savings. Oh, absolutely. Commissioner Langston, we double checked those figures today and found that there was another one in another batch that we weren't aware of. The total of all those that you said, plus the uh, commissioner's office, is uh, about $2,300 a month. A little bit over that. Considering the number of various county buildings we have, and $1,200 is to service all of these that, that basically lights up that uh, fire down to 911. Now it's what buildings are currently being touched with your existing fiber. The buildings today that you're taking internet from the current provider as it is today will be immediately addressed. All of those, now you can utilize it. But with the 199 installation fee, that would just be one at the courthouse, one at 911. It would not be at the individual the prison. You'll have, you'll have one at the 911 center, and you can take a point of delivery at the library. Those are the only two charges you'll have for installation. Now, you can take, that once that service is internal to you on, the, on your network or your fiber, now you can basically use wireless technology to go to the jail or to the prison if it's not connected on the current fiber. So we don't know right now if light up 911, if it's going to light, light up anything else in any of the county buildings. Do we know that? It'll, it'll, if we bring the point of service to you now, Anything that you're currently taking service from here in the, uh, the courthouse, which to my knowledge is all of your county buildings here, building inspections, courthouse, board of commissioners, 911 center, sheriff's office. CID, prison. Now CID, I think has a separate circuit. I would, I would have to rely on you guys. I believe they have a, they're not connected to that fiber. The fiber goes into the uh, 911 system as it is now. <clears throat> it's not connected to the CID, it's the building that was previously owned by someone else. But the beauty of that is a simple wireless bridge from the 911 center over to that. There's no other fees. You just you buy two pieces of hardware and you deliver it over to that. If you need to send it to the uh, park, anywhere you've got line of sight, you can send that service out at a very nominal fee for hardware. You're not any more reoccurring costs. That 1200 you can distribute that how you want to. You've got the ability to do it. The one offer that they have on the table is provided they enter into an agreement with you guys as a county. They're willing to activate two public Wi-Fi areas in the county of your choice. So they can be a park or a city. You tell them which location you want to have free Wi-Fi. Now they'll go to it. My recommendation when you look at parks, Saturdays, any given day, on Saturday, Fridays, how many kids and families we got out there park with the soccer fields and baseball fields? You have them deploy free Wi-Fi now. Family members, whoever's there, can be using the internet free of charge. That's, that's another asset that we're into. I have one more question. Mm -hmm. um, and I know this is down the road, but do you have any idea how many towers would be needed countywide out of park so that our residents can well, then we utilize my you know, I'll come back to uh, You're going to use right, water towers and that sort of thing. Water tanks and towers. Anything that's structurally right. there that the county has access to, right. they'll basically bring their drone team in, fly it, look at the everything apparatus-wise, and get an aerial view of what they can see from that location, feed that into a design model. And my understanding is I think Patala is uh, on the list would probably be the first, and Ellerslie would be the second immediately because those are fixed assets that are readily available. Once they turn it on at 911, they can get that signal to the sites where we at Ellerslie, Catala, Hamilton, once that tower's up, then that comes into play. And I don't think you probably, and I can't speak for them, but I don't think maybe Pine Mountain site because it's up on the ridge. Let's don't forget about Southern Indian County. Where? Let's don't forget about the Southern Indian County. Oh, I'm in the Southern, trust me. It's, uh, yeah. There again, we have a site on River Road. So there again, any of the assets we've got, they're going to look at, they're looking for customers. And there again, I, I'll let Andy speak. I don't want to keep speaking for him. I have a question that has nothing to do with the service. I, I love the plan. I think it's great. Um, you will have access. You will need 24-hour access to 
water towers and other assets in the town. Yes, ma'am. Because if you have customers whose service goes down, it's not really good for you. So what are the safeguards that you provide to us that your employees who access public water towers in the middle of the night are people that we can trust and you can trust? What are your agreements with the cities like Cuthbert or what kind of background checks? What do you do to ensure that those employees that access our public sites are trustworthy and that we can depend that our public works are safe when we allow private companies employees to well, not only public, because uh, as a company, we have to vet everybody. Uh, Tell us how you do that. That's what I want you to Well, first of all, we, we hired three new uh, new folks today. And the first thing they have to, to do is go have a, uh, as I like to say, a tinkle test. Mm -hmm. And we do that. We also do random. Uh, do you do background checks? We do background checks. Uh, Federal land state? Uh, yes, ma'am. The, um, it's, it's very important for us. This is not a new business. This is the, I mean, uh, when I say it's not a new business, this is not a new uh, process. Sabre companies have been doing this uh, a long time. We were in the Sabre business at, uh, at, at one time. Um, and we're a very successful Sabre business, so that was team up. America became their southern southern footprint. You have to have a. Uh, we do. We use two types of, of folks. We have a contract force and we have an in-house force. Uh, we vet them just like all the sailing carriers uh, vet theirs, which is. For lack of a better term, extreme, uh, because they are going up. One, they're representing the company. Two, uh, there's always a liability when that person puts the first foot on any area of asset. That's that fact. So, property. would it be your contracted employees that would have access to the public sites, or your in-house employees will go? Both. What about the <clears throat> liability if, um, due to vandalism or weather or something? Some one of your products is damaged and say it's on the county site. We think so. I mean, well, any, if what liability would the county have, could the county have? No. I, I mean, you know, there's always going to be some jerk out there that's going to shoot something, or I, I mean, it'd be no different from them. Uh, in, in former lives, we had a lot of fiber, and you know, we all cringed on Fourth of July because people went out and shot up in the air, and inevitably somebody was going to hit a fire, and there was going to be <coughs> an outage. So, the, you know, the our goal is to have a team that's available to respond quickly if we have uh, an outage of, of that nature. Now, what Dean's referring to is uh, for us to make this this business work. Uh, we do mounts and and aerial structure. 150 feet, and that does clear the canopy. Usually, the rule of thumb is about twice what the tree height is. We would go up and mount a couple of different types of radio equipment. One, the pointed point we're talking about. Uh, we use a, a company that is capable of carrying up to a gig on on average for short point to points, and this is the short point to point to us. Uh, we can go up. Well above that, we can get up uh, to uh, 500 gig over an aerial asset, over a radio, uh, point to point, should we choose to. The second thing we would uh, put on the tower is our non-line-of-sight distribution, which would be the primary uh, target audience for the, for the Hamilton area. So that would be phase one to reach the, the Hamilton area, because that's obviously where we're, uh, we're looking. Anywhere from, depending on the topography of the uh, of the area, one to three miles. Uh, also depending on the frequencies of the radios. So we'll, we'll go back and we'll look at who's using what frequencies in this area. And we've already done some preliminary, and it's 
looks good for us to use a frequency that would get us out of that one to three uh, mile range. So we put four sectors around so that we're covering this, this area. Now, is everybody in that coverage area going to get service? No, because as you've all driven uh, up and down the road with your cell phones and you're on an important call and inevitably you go down in a what is called an RFO. You're just not going from wherever that tower is, that little bump on, in, the, in the bottom of the road. Uh, but we're going, when we're selling this, as a matter of fact, uh, we're getting ready for our grand opening because we're to the public. Uh, we will have what is called heat maps. So a customer can look and say, wow, I'm in the red, that's good. The red is good in the heat map. Uh, and yes, we can cover you, that's no problem. Well, this person's three and a half miles out. So they may be covered in phase two. So one tower, uh, a given area. Then the next thing we do is we look and say, okay, where is the next logical area to go to? Uh, and then you know, we might look at that and it's could be better. And we'll put a second on the next aerial asset that we get to cover that uh, that area. And days a chance. You get that way, you get that way. We also look for, uh, there may be other towers in the county that have fiber, which we know that is coming into them. So it doesn't have to just be uh, with our uh, friends at Diverse Power. They have fiber at, at several different tower locations. So we may choose to uh, light up another fiber there <coughs> and start a distribution network uh, from that point. But we, uh, this is kind of a win-win uh, for us. One, we love the people to say we're in our own backyard. Uh, we certainly have a, a lot of interest from Mississippi through South Alabama. As a matter of fact, so much interest that we can't get to it as quickly as we would like to. Uh, we've already had uh, uh, now 42 municipalities that are anxious for us to come in with the same Everybody just assumes the world is full of high speed internet. It is not. Uh, in areas like ours, it is not there. I'm very familiar with it. I can raise my hand because I'm, <laughs> I'm anxious for it on the other side of the mountain uh, as well. Um, so if, uh, if we can come to an agreement, we can certainly uh, uh, start by providing County with good internet access. Your question earlier, uh, today you have two distribution points coming in, or AT&T and Charter, and the way IHS distributes that through the network over the fiber back down the hill to 911. It's just the opposite. We would be feeding you a fiber, IHS would distribute it back the other, other direction. Mr. Taylor, is there any problem with uh, Intergovernmental agreement with the city of Hamilton to put the concrete pad. Mm -hmm. No, no issues. Where, that's one thing. Where is the Hamilton water tank? Up at the school? No. I have the uh, Cody, the old uh, Hudson. Is that Hudson Drive or Hudson, Hudson. It's called the Hudson Road Tank, yeah. I think. But it's, it's basically out in front of the courthouse, <coughs> uh, blocked up. We basically opened some conversation up with the um, mayor, Mr. Dowling and I, and obviously they, they felt like between y'all two, y'all could reach some sort of agreement to get something started there. And, and I want this to be understood. We'll bring the site or the tower structure to the table at no cost. The incremental construction cost and fees we'll put out there if, if you want to subcontract for some of that or if we do it, I've outlined the fees. Uh, at the point we turn it over to you, it's your tower, it belongs to the county, it's an asset there. Now, granted, we got use of it long term based on the venture there uh, as the county in general, but uh, I think that's agreement with it being county owned will facilitate any ordinance issues or anything like that. But I would highly recommend this being memorialized in, in various contracts. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 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 Yeah. And, yeah, and that's something the county attorneys, our attorneys can work all that out so that everybody's happy at the end of the day. 
this just basically is an opportunity that presented itself that's twofold. It meets your needs and it meets the needs of the county. It jump starts a provider to come into Harris County, otherwise it's probably not going to happen for a long time. And we also mentioned, I think, the last time, 10% uh, of the, uh, and, and we're not just doing that in Harris County. That's, that was our goal, a 10% uh, internal we have a, a, a tie, but go back to a reputable uh, uh, sure. uh, Thank you. I was looking for that and just looking at me. Uh, but we think that's, that's the, the right thing to do. I think we'll, we'll be successful wherever we go. And that, that just gives the opportunity to face the community. So we need a motion. Motion. Yeah, if, I, if everybody, <laughs> yeah, we, we, I think we had our discussion. Um, can you tell us about the uh, uh, privacy or security of the, of the signal? Uh, absolutely. It is the same as fiber. Uh, no, I mean, in the country county. Um, what, 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 what's your microphone? Not about this, but eventually when you become micro, uh, uh, microwave, 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 yeah. Uh, you mean how secure is microwave? Yeah. Is it hackable? Yeah. Uh, there is no system on earth that's not hackable. <laughs> However, uh, it is at a frequency that is, uh, unless a, a uh, I've never known the mind to ever be, to ever be hacked. For that fact, fiber either, and somebody's actually breaking into into a, uh, a hub point. So, in my comment, that Jim is it's, it's as secure as it is. Public safety is using microwave as an industry standard because they don't have luxury fiber. Uh, it's a very reputable in the real world. Where you have fiber is super convenient and nice, but the ball code, of most communication systems are run off of back calls for the microwave, and they are secure. They use a certain level of encryption. Oh, absolutely. Well, and, and another thing is, that's a little difficult. In, in the old, old days of uh, analog, especially analog radio, uh, anybody with the right equipment could pick up that signal. The, the new digital signals, especially the ones that the, the county is using, uh, is encrypted. When you get up in the microwave frequency and or uh, the transport is not what you're concerned about, where you get your liability is on either end once you're in, unencrypting that. Uh, so I give you a path and put two computers on either end. Those computers can be easily hacked because they don't have the, the security. But a pipe that's, that's getting in there is as secure as it can. What, how long would it take you to get 80% of the county covered? Um, it would take us as long as it is. So we would go out and look at aerial assets. Because the aerial assets aren't there, we're not going to. You know, it's not covered. Being towers or tanks. Being towers or tanks, yes, sir. Uh, and is that, you know, we're not going to go invest a lot of money on a tower where there's five homes. I mean, that just doesn't, you know, uh, in the coverage area. Uh, it's got to be a reasonable coverage area for us to, uh, to look at. Do you think there's a reasonable coverage area in the Pine Lake Piedmont area? Yes, sir. I certainly do. How long do you think it takes to get there? <laughs> Just tell where your house is. <laughs> <laughs> that house is going to be at the end of the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, from a personal perspective, uh, when my engineers are, are through looking at it, I, I hope that's going to be one of our, our, our first ones because there is some fiber running down in that area. It just so happens I'm relatively close to there. <laughs> so, yes, I'm all for it. Uh, it Happy major, birthday, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> I knew where he lived. <laughs> your, your major population centers are going to leave first. Yes, sir. And that's within that 
three mile radius or a three mile diameter? It's depending on where we are and what frequencies it could be uh, and topography. Uh, now, you know, a lot of people think Harris County is a flat county. And we, we all know that it is not, and especially, uh, you know, everybody that's been involved with uh, the deployment of radio, you know, we're very hip. So, um, There, there are going to be some, some areas that are just quite difficult to serve effectively. Um, we would look at the, especially the, uh, the towns that went first, because uh, those are the ones that, that, that needed, they have a higher density of population. All right. Any other questions? Do I have a motion? Good plan, <laughs> and it looks like um, even with the, the money that we'll put into uh, you know, the tower and shelter, that we'll recoup that in about 37 <coughs> months. That's pretty good. So I move that we um, proceed, and I know that this is just an outline, but uh, move agree to move forward um, under this scenario that we have here. And I'll second that. All right, got a motion and a second. More questions to the comment. All in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your hand. Motion carries. So, day after right. tomorrow, we got to go. All right. One more day. All right. Any. Uh, I have nothing further. There is, uh, I think, uh, uh, a need to go into the executive session uh, briefly for uh, land acquisition. Okay. Um, I'll make that motion. Second. Got a second. All in favor?